In our last adventure video, we drive 10 minutes outside of town to one of the closest campgrounds to Las Vegas and made some questionable dinner decisions at camp. This week, we drive 45 minutes into the mountains to snowboard and make Philly cheesesteak burritos over the Tembo Tusk Scottle for lunch. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're doing some snowboarding at Lee Canyon, and then we're gonna be tailgating at the truck, making some lunch. So if you guys didn't know, Lee Canyon has a brand new ski lift actually, which is over on that side. I'm gonna try and pivot my way over to so, so I can see what the new lift is about and where it takes you. Maybe some of you guys don't know, but you could actually snowboard like 45 minutes out of Vegas and this is a pretty decent mountain there's a restaurant bar you can actually come here for the day and just hang out while you're I don't know your significant other snowboards or snowboards or skis so it's a good time out here the weather is gonna be perfect today it's about 30 degrees and the Sun is out and shining so this is gonna be great today I'm like the only one on this chairlift because this is like the most difficult chairlift everyone usually starts at Bluebird next door but uh, I didn't want to wait in line and I'm only by myself so I might as well just get in as many runs as I can before the crowds get here. A little bit bumpy around here. Lots of uh, just stuff sticking out of the snow. So this might be why no one's on this lift right now. I thought, they, I thought Lee Canyon got a lot better snow than this but uh, it is what it is found the new chairlift it's called Ponderosa Glide if you're on top of the mountain and you're looking down it is on the far right hand side of the mountain or if you're coming in from the parking lot it's the far left side of the mountain and they've pretty much extended the uh, ski area I got here pretty much right when it opened and there were so many people already which is crazy so I think these people got here at like 8 o'clock to get a good parking spot the snow is definitely a little bit sparse so I think I'm gonna stick to these blue areas because there's definitely a lot more snow up here versus some of the black diamond stuff So this is the new Ponderosa chairlift. It's definitely just a blue run. All right guys, got a good amount of runs in. Just had a little snack. I might go inside and grab a little beer and then we're gonna make some lunch. So let's go do it. <sighs> Whew. We are back. It is so hot. It's only like one o'clock and it's like 40 degrees out here. I was dying with my extra jacket on, my helmet. It's just hot. So. And I'm getting hungry, so we're gonna make some food. Um, I'm done snowboarding for the day. I got a good amount of runs in this morning, so my legs are pretty dead right now. So let's go make some food. All right, guys, well, we are here. And I'm so glad because I am, I am so hungry right now. We're gonna get lunch going. Pretty much straight away. I need to change my shoes and then my my slippers. Probably should have brought some boots, but that's okay. It's a little bit wet around here. If you guys don't recognize this spot, this is uh, one of our go-to camp spots up here. If you guys have seen my previous videos, you guys will have seen the coordinates from those videos. So if you want to check those older videos out, I will leave those in the description down below. If you want to go on a little treasure hunt, and find out where this spot is. Let's make some Philly cheesesteak burritos. Oh man, 
guys. My Timbo Tusk Scottle bag is not doing so hot. That is very unfortunate. getting the Tembo Tusk warmed up. And what we're gonna do first is uh, cut up some of our vegetables. We got a couple of things in here. We got some shredded provolone because I figured this might make it easier to melt over the meat. I'm making some shaved ribeye steak, finely sliced. So I'm gonna use that. Also got an onion and a bell pepper. And then got some hot sauce in there as well. All right, so let's cut some veggies up. Some oil, our spatula, kniff, kniff. Gosh, it is hot. I just probably need like half of this onion. Start a little trash can here. So I, for some reason, don't have any trash bags. So I'm using a little dog bag for my trash here. There we go. Let's cut up this pepper here. For this, I'm actually going to cube all of the vegetables. This recipe actually called for ground beef, um, and this is what it suggested was putting it into pieces, so just to make it quicker to cook alongside the meat. So we're going to do the meat first, and then throw in the vegetables. We're gonna do some salt, pepper, and some garlic on this. Oh yeah, that smells so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna part ways, throw the beef to the side, and we're gonna get those veggies uh, sauteed in here, and then we'll mix everything together. I need to throw a dash of oil in here for the vegetables. Get the vegetable sauteing in the middle. I should have brought some garlic, but I totally like fresh garlic, but that's all right. I'm let this saute for probably like a minute or two before we mix everything back together. 
I just don't want to overcook the beef, you know, before these uh, veggies get browned up. This may be too many veggies, but it's all good. I like veggies. If you guys watched my last year's video of where me and Kyle went out and pretty much camped through a snowstorm, this is the spot that we are currently at. This is one of my favorite spots actually, and the way I found this was just through like Google Maps and whatnot. Just loops around through here, there's a spot over there, there's a little pull off into here, and then this, this right here is the main road, which leads up to Deer Canyon or Champion Road, depending on if you're looking at Google or Apple Maps. Just gonna separate some of these bigger pieces of meat that are still together. So I kind of want this to be like a chopped cheese a little bit where the meat's very fine, no big chunks. Well, I think this is pretty much done. Let me just give it a try here. Oh yeah, that is so good. Let's get some cheese on here. And do a little trick here to melt some cheese. So what we're gonna do is make a small pocket in the middle where like the, the concentration of the burner really is. We're gonna throw a little bit of water in there to make some steam and then cover it up to melt the cheese. Take this on because it is a Philly cheesesteak, you know. Make a small hole. And I throw a little bit of water in there. Oh my gosh, that might be way too much. Yeah, that's right. Ice cube might have gotten in there too, but all right, there we go. Cover that up and just let it sit for probably about two minutes and then turn off the heat and then just let that steam sit in there for that cheese to get melty. We're gonna go and assemble. Probably make two right now, I think. Probably be good. this it's down here really don't need too much because these tortillas are kind of small so just throw a little bit on there for right now cover that up keep it warm fold it up Number one, number two. And we're at, here's the second one here. I'm just gonna make two since I don't need this much, uh, I don't need this much Philly cheesesteak in my life. Alright. These two over here, and then I gotta clear the tembo tusk and put the leftover meat in the plate. We're gonna turn this thing back on, get it warmed up, throw some oil on it, and then give the Philly cheesesteak burritos a little sear.
30 seconds on each side really fast. So just pay attention to it. This is super easy for them to burn right here. And that, that is it. So, let's, uh, let's give this a shot. It looks really, really good. Cheesy. Oh. Oh. That is delicious. Got some hot sauce here. This is that Arizona Gunslinger hot sauce, which definitely one of my favorites. Picked it up in a random Arizona gas station on one of our travels, I honestly can't remember. This makes up for the very sad Maxubi dinner I had at camp in my last video. If y'all have seen the Red Rocks video, this is 10 times better. I think I'm finally starting to get used to like melting cheese on the Tembo Tuscato because I had such a problem with trying to melt cheese without burning your burgers and stuff like that. But I think I have the trick now. Make a hole in the middle where the concentration of heat is on the Tembo Tusk or on the scottle, part a hole in the middle, throw some water in there, cover it up, let it sit for like two to three minutes, don't, don't move it. I turned up the heat just a tad, but as long as you got enough water in there to evaporate in there, it should be all right. And this turned out really, really well. So perfectly melted, hot, perfect. This is amazing after like a long day of snowboarding. I was really tempted to get food in the lodge, but I bought ingredients for this, so I was, I was determined. I was actually gonna go camp out last night and then go snowboarding in the morning, but unfortunately Carly has a long work day today, so someone needed to be home to feed the dog so Rio doesn't starve, you know? I'm glad I didn't overstuff these, especially for like a tortilla like this. It just, this is like the perfect amount of filling for a tortilla like this. It kind of reminds me of like Taco Bell or something, but much better. <laughs> I love how you can drive into the snow out here in the desert and then 45 minutes you're back in the desert. But even from the top of the mountain you can literally see where the snow ends and the desert begins from down down into the valley. One of the reasons why we love this area though, I'm having some uh, sparkling water, some San Pellegrino, the Clementine and peach. All right guys, getting the Tempo Tusk cleaned up here, and then we're heading out. This is done. So all I did was really like Heat up some water over the tembo, let it burn off some of that and just kind of swirl around that hot water on the scottle. And then what we'll do is we'll throw some oil on there and let it cool so we can put it away. <sighs> just gonna give it a little bit and then we'll put everything away.
is done. Might need to find a replacement bag or somehow fix that zipper for the tebo. these views out here guys <laughs> 